So Anthony, we're here with Project V, Caterham's new lightweight sports car, pure EV. When we had our first concept meeting in Japan in October 2022, is this what you imagined we would end up with? To be honest, Bob, uh, it's hard to tell because when I heard of the brief at the beginning, uh, I was surprised that Caterham would do such a car, you know. He, if you remember, you know, for, for you, like making an electric car is something that nobody expected, you know. And finally, you make, I mean, you make a car that is actually uh, like a, a sport GT, that could be practical, almost an everyday car. And it has this uh, very simple approach to technology, but at the same time, it uses, like, I think, the next generation of battery. Yeah, the intention is to use the next generation of battery which allows us to utilise the, the less space they take up to package into a sports car. And I would say that's when I realised, yeah, actually, it's possible to make a very compact sports car with a lot of space inside because thanks to the, actually the very like low volume requested by the battery, battery and the electric motor, we can carve out a lot of space inside the cabin and having this 2 plus 2 or 2 plus 1 sitting position, sitting uh, layout. And uh, I didn't think at the beginning it was possible, to be honest. I think the, the, the enabler for that, the key objective, is to be able to keep the seats where they would normally be in a sports car to keep the height of the overall car very low. And the balance then of the car, which was very dear to me, as a designer, you always work with proportions. I wanted to make sure that, okay, if Keter makes an electric car, it has to be sexy and it has to look a little bit retro, a little bit vintage, because that's also in the DNA of Katiam, which, you know, we always say it's simplicity, lightness, and fun to drive, but naturally a bit retro. And, uh, and I think what's great is that, like the front of the car, it really shows, you know, the linkage with the seven, and, uh, and everybody, who you think, uh, I think people are surprised that actually see a radiator at the front. But again, it comes from the battery technology, I guess. Yeah, the radiator is there to cool the battery, but I think, you know, what you've managed to encompass in the design is that traditional caterum feeling that there's a, there's a, a nose there. And uh, I think that's been implemented really, really well by your design. And we, I remember we tried also to create, to use this kind of process of elimination. So everything that was not useful, we didn't do it. So there is no front luggage compartment because of the suspension system. And, uh... Yeah, so not having a front luggage compartment allows us to put the suspension where we need it to deliver that sporty, fun to drive element that caterums are traditionally famous for. So, Anthony, we're in the interior of Project V now. Could you just explain some of the inspirations for the layout that we've got here? I think we try to be very similar to the exterior uh, principle, so we try to keep something very traditional, but at the same time, anchored in the 21st century, so we use also some modern components, but in a very simplistic way. So we have the digital uh, gauges that are actually uh, mimic the analog dials, and again, it's a nice little hint to the past. Uh, it's about the simplicity, yeah. So yeah, we, look, we look at the dials here, we have the battery percentage, the clock, the mode. There's no embedded navigation. It's simply the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And visibly, when you sit in the driver's seat, you're looking at this classic look of an interior, which, which you know, is genuinely timeless, I think. And, the rest of the cabin is something close to a GT in some sort. You know, the seat with this position and the comfort of the seat, even if they are like from a very sporty, they are lightweight but comfortable. The battery is underneath my feet. The pedals are slightly elevated, but it feels very much like sitting in a 7 here, almost identical driving position to a 7. And the great addition is the back seat. And because we, uh, we managed to get some extra space inside this cabin, we thought we would get like the rear passenger in the middle 
and in this way you can also take advantage of the scenery and for instance if you're a father with two kids or you have a couple with a young kid even the kid is in a perfect place to get joy inside, inside this car. And you can use that for luggage as well. It's the overall packaging for such a small car is is, is very, very uh, expertly executed by Anthony's design. And we've got this combination of the, the modern technology on the screens with the traditional use of switches for the main functions and dials. So, Yeah, it's a very driver-focused uh, interior and we really intended to keep all what is make a sports car uh, and uh, fun to drive, nice and focused. You know. And finally, you know, when we are at the back, we can have a lot of space. And that's what's great about these cars, is that even if it's kind of short for a sports car, you know, people call it the baby 911. We have a luggage compartment, and we have uh, basically uh, the full practicality of a normal car. Yeah, and we create that space by having one electric motor, just rear wheel drive, which again enhances this fun to drive element and keeps the product really, really simple. So what was very important for me since the beginning is that even though we call it a concept car, it's like we actually did a lot of feasibility study on this car to make sure we would produce this car, right? Yeah, the engineering layout, the packaging is already done. We plan to bring this car to the market in 2026. So Bob, I return the question to you now. Are you happy with my work and the design and the, the final result of this car? I, the, the car's amazing. I, I think it's going to be uh, a timeless classic thanks to the direction of view of uh, Chief Designer. So thank you very much. And, and the, for me, the great challenge is to make sure like Caterham lovers at the moment like this car and also like the future people who will discover this car will also understand like the philosophy of Caterham. The reaction we've seen so far is amazing.